Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Bell for your talking to the stars of the big show that everybody's coming to see this year. The Dream Boys are back on tour through 2020, and I'm delighted to be with two of the big stars. How are you, boys? Fine, thank okay. you very much. Fine, thank you very much. Excited for this. Well, it's so <laughs> nice to see you both. And this show really is the backbone of show business at the minute. I mean, as shows are playing to empty theatres across the country, you're both selling out, aren't you? We, 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 are, well, we, yeah. are, we are. We are. We are. We're going from strength to th uh, strength right now. Um, it's we we kind of set the bar in a way and helping to set the bar just in entertainment. Yeah, and I mean, what we're the we're the best selling one show touring. Show. Yeah, yeah. For that's that not a musical sense? or anything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For a, for a, a stripping entertainment show, shall we say? <laughs> we are the forefront of that. We're leading with that. Let's talk about you both. Introduce yourself. Tell us your story. How are you here today? Uh, my name is Lauren Carr. Um, I've been in and out of Dream Boys for nearly a decade now. Uh, I basically started when I was 20 years old. I was seeing a TV show, they picked me up there. I was training to become a professional dancer, so this was essentially the time to pay for that. Um, as the show kind of went on, it kind of took over and become a career. And obviously the show is so much different now to, to the way it was, so yeah. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Tell us your story. Hi, uh, I'm Jordan Durrell. Um, I started in the Dream Boys coming up to six years ago now and five years ago i took over and started choreographing it and creating the whole show um yeah i trained in dancing actually brief we went, point yeah. we went to college together a long long time ago and ended up now being top strippers together you know how we oh. flourished <laughs> um but yeah we uh I've had amazing people to work with and luckily through the people I've been able to work with and through my career and history through musical theatre and performance base, I've kind of brought that to the strip world and kind of made it a lot more entertaining and then the it's, boys are more excited to perform it and it's more credible. It is, I mean it's taken like I said like such a turn, I'm, I'll am i be the first to say when I first mm. joined the company mm. it was nothing mm. compared to what it was, it was very seedy as you probably expect a lot of people's preconceptions of the show is a guy wearing a thong or like covered in grease and all that sort of stuff it's not this is a mm. proper show now it's it takes you on a journey it really you, you, you're actually the only one that has been one of the originals yeah, to see it all and change. came back later on in life in yeah. a new show like perfect perspective yeah it's, <laughs> but it's then, so yeah, it's different. yeah, yeah I, I know i know it was <laughs> it was a very different beast uh, back in the day it was very old school very cliche um we've literally taken it on a completely different journey now uh, even some of the comments we get from the audience members are not what you expect at all. <laughs> even though you, you, you buy a ticket, everyone knows Genuinely, the Dream Boys. Yeah. People you presume, they know it's a strip show. They've come to see a certain element of whatever they want to come and see and then give us comments at the end like, oh my gosh, the performance was amazing. I love that dance number. The dancing's great. And on the odd occasion we get, why did those people take their clothes off? Which is odd because they bought a strip ticket to a strip show. So. And it, you know what, it kind of... <laughs> We, we'll always, I think, we will continue to, to obviously keep the level of nudity at points. It's not as much as you probably expect completely nude um, because a lot of people do still come to see that. And it kind of, it's, it has a comedy element to it as well. It's not, we don't take ourselves too seriously. We are very good as a team, like as a collective, we're all very good friends. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like a brotherhood. I gen like genuinely couldn't work with a better group yeah. of guys. We are very lucky. Um, we are very lucky. We are very lucky. We are very lucky. We're, like, we are very lucky. And honestly, we are very close friends, even outside of Dream Boys. A lot of us have known each other for years, um, for a long, long time, like yeah. 15 years we've known each other, do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, so Quite I'm we, we've, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, like we've known each other such a long time that you can't really fake that camaraderie. You can't fake that brotherhood. So we're lucky enough to bring that on stage and the audience members are more entertained with that than generally, I guess, taking our clothes off. Yeah, I mean, you, you obviously know, you get you, you get a cheer it. and stuff like that, but it's it's the comments we get often are, "Wow, you're enjoying like each other's company and the way you perform together is is something that it's normally you would have to put on. It's a show, it's an act, it's a blessing that I can go on stage <laughs> and I'm going to giggle. <laughs> and, <probably laughs> the audience. and it's like, great, like yeah. they get what they want. We and we're yeah. loving what we're doing, and they yeah. can see how much we're enjoying it, yeah. and that kind of. In, in itself creates this whole yeah. like this fire in the audience it's great you can't you, you can't fake that interaction no <laughs> so where we interact with our audience so much and we invite them to be as much part of the stage a part of what we do 
rather, rather than just sitting there and yeah. watching and appreciating. It's like, no, you're with us. We laugh with them. They cry. They're silent with us. You know, they're, they're, well, you've spent a lot of time in the audience as well. Yeah. Like at points, yeah. what even whilst there's something going on stage, there's people engaging with the audience members. Like so other people are seeing different things constantly. There's always something yeah. going on. Yeah, you'll it's see. Great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot you'll to see. see. You said something there that's really interesting about women and the fact that they like confidence and they like a good looking lad, but they don't like cockiness or arrogance or any of that stuff. What I'm most surprised about, about the audience really is how much, like from changing the show from the old show to what we know as the Dream Boys now, is how much the audience members want to be entertained, which, which is really like, amused my mind. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean? Because I thought, go on stage, take your clothes off, winner. And it's not that, it's the journey. They want to be entertained. They want to listen to good music, see good choreography. Do you know what I mean? See us enjoying ourselves. And because as Loton said, we're, we're not like, we're, we're not, we don't have massive egos on stage. We're not, we're gods, love us, look at us. You it's, know? Very, it's, it's very it's, much shared it's, yeah. between. It's, yeah. We, yeah. we take the mick out of ourselves. Like yeah. we are here to look a certain way. We're meant to give you the dream as such or the, the fantasy as it was. Yeah. You expect that, but then when you come, yeah, we, we, we train really hard and we do our best to look good, but we're great dancers, we're yeah. great performers, yeah. and we want you to enjoy it. We want, you can only look at a beautiful man on stage, get naked, and after 10 seconds, women will be like, now what? Yeah. There's only something you can look at that for. And you can't come too soon, really, can you? I mean, there's you can't so spoil the, like it's all about the, <laughs> maybe, maybe my turn of phrase isn't perfect, but, but it is about the tease. The tease is more it important is than the reveal, up. isn't it? Yeah, uh, 100%. It's all the, about the foreplay. The tea, the, the final outcome, shall we say, not giving too much away, <laughs> is the cherry on the cake. It's all about the journey getting there. And that's what they appreciate the most. And, then, and it's the tease is the best part because they don't know what you're really going to get. And you'll never know until you watch what you're really going to get. <laughs> but when you watch it, you're, <laughs> it's appreciated. Yeah, shall very we much say. so. All of it is yeah. appreciated <laughs> i'm a deeply unattractive man and i'd love to be oh, in a show like this but so i can't be bothered i mean tell me about your daily routine and what it's like to look like you the thing is it varies mike i'm i'm quite i'm quite on point with it i'm quite aware that i used to play on my looks when i was younger i was like i could be the young cheeky one with the pretty little face and now i'm getting older i'm like i have to work a little bit harder i spend a little bit of time in the gym my life has changed so i'm I, my diet is horrendous i'm happy to say i eat whatever i want but i train really hard and some of the other boys are very clean eaters and work really really hard so it's harder to keep up with them and some people are just lucky like he doesn't have an ounce of fat on him yeah i, I like done. biscuits and cake and that's my morning oh, so do i maybe i could be yeah, in the show yeah I, i'll <laughs> high five you that over the mic that's a clear <laughs> high five um yeah I, 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 I demand for chubby gingers do you think in this show there's Cain. a there is a Cain's not, sure. no, Cain's not, he's not, he's not he's like you you'll, you'll be surprised there is there are many things that have um like opened my eyes to Jordan to don't patronize me I know what no, they're no, looking no, for no, 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 there's there, there there, 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 they want tall short big slim yeah, like, like, like you have like, to cater they, they, for everyone yeah, for everybody and they love everyone and we had one boy who started a while ago who who's phenomenal dancer Michael he won't mind us mentioning him amazing dancer he does the M mj tonight in the show one of the best dancers i've ever worked with um he started because of his dance ability rather than his look right. and he has come so far to be a favorite because of his look and not his dance ability because people are more like comfortable with him yeah. they go i'm you're more approachable to me because he's like they love him right. they're like you're more of a real man and now he's worked so hard he's got a phenomenal body yeah. <laughs> but at the he's, start it really opened shame. my eyes because i was like you need to be you need to have a 12 pack and you need to be this and the audience members were like no and our audience members were the ones who told us no you don't need to be <laughs> you know we, we lack realness you know? and Which the is cheekiness crazy. is the key as well isn't it, it you know what uh, my, Teachers always told me at school, <laughs> you will only get so far on your smile, young man. And you know what? Yeah. It's done me all right. It's, done, yeah, it's, 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 it's it does. It's it not cheeky. I don't find it cheekiness. It's literally our twenty-four-seven banter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that we have, that we have between each other, and it just comes across on the stage. We we try not to be rudely cheeky. We're just funny people. <laughs> no, Tell me how much fun it is being you. I mean, here we are today in Chesterfield. You're on this constant tour, at least three nights a week. You're being screamed at and you're being yelled at, and they're gagging for you. It must be a blessed <laughs> life. Or, or, never mind. I I love my life. I, you know what, I'm so 
happy like i've like i said i've can't come and gone come and gone this is the the best group that i've come back to um like i said me jordan and i have we've been friends for a very long time in, like in ballet tights together sort of thing <laughs> literally <laughs> swear to god ballet um tights. and like i'm i get paid to spend all my time like all my three or four days or whatever a week with some of my closest friends like-minded individuals i laugh like i do did when i was at school until i cry at most times mm. I am so lucky, and I get paid. I get paid well. For like I'm, I've got such a great life. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm. This... I'm very lucky as well. It's a little bit more stressful for me because uh, I manage and then choreograph, and I host the show and have to deal with that as well as performing it and like announcing like a lot mm. of things to do. But it it really just comes to fruition when I step on stage on beginners and I get to perform with all of the other boys. Yeah, it, everything else, just no stresses, no dramas, and uh, it's just, just happy. We all come off stage, no matter what mood we're in, buzzing, beaming, great smile, the audience is great, and we just go, no matter what you've had in your day. Yeah, like, like genuinely, it's it lucky. turns everything, it's so, <laughs> it's, it's, such it? a bizarre feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I've done stand-up for years. I've walked out in front of the Queen and Queens. I've walked out in front of hundreds of thousands. I've done all kinds of things. But walking out in front of a group of women who have had a few glasses of wine takes courage. I mean, where did you get the nerve? Because it takes a minute to cope with the room because they're never going to behave like a theatre crowd, are they? No, then they're never going to behave like a theatre crowd. But then it, it kind of goes into the creation of the show like a lot of the run and a lot of what you hear from them the audience remarks what they want is set it's what we want it goes through the music through the level of choreography the lighting if we want you to shout off it's been predetermined to get you to that point so then we can switch it where the music brings you somewhere else so without without sounding a bit rude we kind of manipulate the audience in feeling how we want them to feel at the time like there's a lot that goes into the show rather than just throwing a couple of guys on to take their clothes off you know it takes months and months of preparation and when we look at the rig i mean this is a proper show you've got proper lighting and proper sound and you need that because if not it would just be a village hall stripper wouldn't it it's you know what like i said again i've been here for so many years i have been working mecha bingos where there is no lighting so it is pretty much broad daylight in front of guys and girls women of all ages where i've jumped on a stage and the cd skips like it's <laughs> like i've been through all that so my journey has been so so different to everyone else's um but yeah this is this is unreal and it is it's super um super distinguished it's it's fantastic like how our setup's incredible it's, it is, very lucky i just have to learn um when i first started this as well i was touring with rita aurora and then was doing both at the same time and how easy it was to perform in front of a hundred thousand in a stadium and then coming to here and then still having like 700 people for a completely different show like i, I had to learn and i had to learn yeah. off someone like loton who was already established in the industry how to perform it's such a, a different crowd a different audience you know even to choreograph well, essentially or, you're the you are the artist like yeah yeah so like, like you're yeah. you're no longer support yeah. even though we're very supportive <laughs> of each other on stage yeah. and we kind of share mm. the the attention as mm. such like you'll see a group routine and then it'll be like a solo mm. for a few minutes of someone else and it carries on th mm. that way sort of thing yeah. but, <laughs> but i guess when you're yeah when you're yeah, a reader yeah. it's like you're not the focal point, yeah, are you? You're, so you're, you're, not... you're, you're part of the, the, not the set, because you're, you're bringing the story all together, yeah. but just the intenseness. Like, I, I, in this show, 2019 uh, show, I walk out to start the show by myself in blackout to a microphone. And I mean, sometimes that's intense. Like, mm. when we do 2,000 seaters, yeah. like, you, you feel it, <laughs> and you, you feel the tension, like, they're ready. And you're like, ah, oh, okay. Okay, I need to need to perform, need, need, need to pump up a little bit, you know? <laughs> and talking about being ready and performing, at the end, I mean, I know you do meet and greets and they get to meet you and you've got to leave the building. What are the rules on me getting a date with you? So I'm Sharon from Doncaster and I fall <laughs> in love with you. But what are the chances of me getting a date? Because, no. I mean, I've got to join a queue. Yeah, right. So, no, no, I'm going to say that as the manager right now. Yeah, <laughs> there are specific game. rules that, that we abide by and it's literally... It's not loose, it's a sackable offence, you know, they're literally clean cut. It just devalues yeah. the brand. If, right, yeah. if I There's was no to numbers, take no, numbers during, uh, every time I met some women or whatever, like, oh, it well. just doesn't, yeah, but <laughs> it, no you. one, exactly. And, it, <laughs> and it, it'd be well within his right to do so, because yeah, it, if, I, if I work anywhere else, I'm not, I'm not in it to do yeah. that. Like, it's, I'm sorry, yeah. you've come to meet the performer, 
This yeah, after who, after the performance. Yeah, you wouldn't give your number to Jean Valjean in Les Mis, would you? For we, 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, would you? I they, don't know. We, we have like we have, a, we have a tour bus as well, and there's just things like that. People, where fans would want to come on a tour bus, even to look or have a picture or anything. There's there's no audience members, no fans, no nothing allowed on a tour bus apart from the Dream Boys. It was no numbers. Do you know what I mean? There's. You, 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 we we can always be we're always polite because it's part of our job and because we're not rude people but sometimes the audience members do cross the line you know and we do have to kind of well i want to say right now any ladies who are finding me delicious they can send me their numbers oh, really? they can send me i need all the help <laughs> i can get i don't look like you two <laughs> well well come, come and join us come we and can't join all us be this stage. picky that's the reality boys. <laughs> congratulations on everything i believe the more talented you are the more disciplined you have to be and i've done enough interviews with guys like you to know how tough it is to turn up night after night and make it look like you want to be there and that's the thing you're buying a ticket to a party really aren't you and the joy that you have on stage is infectious if that's not there it won't work yeah no. not at all not totally. at all it resonates. Yeah, and it's two, it's 100 two way as well it's 100 two way like they feed of us they bring their energy up we bring their energy up they bring our energy up so by the end of the second half the place is about to explode yeah <laughs> no no pun that's, intended yeah. <laughs> and Literally. when you come amongst us in the audience what's the rules on grip and grin are we allowed to touch or not touch or stroke or not we yeah. must get this clear yes right. yeah you they, they everyone's allowed no. we are in control <laughs> we are in control yeah there is very <laughs> we, for we those who can't control. see what yeah, I'm doing, yeah, you know. my hands grab your hands <laughs> yes. and like, touch like my body. We're, we're, we're professionals. We, we do lots of gimmicks, maybe not giving too much away, where we might seem to be touching certain areas or certain areas on us, but we're always in control. And again, there is rules. Do you know what I mean? We can't physically have anyone be overtly no and we are also talking us. them through it. Like, yeah, yeah, when, yeah, when you see talking. on stage, it looks like I may have yeah. my head nuzzled into their neck. I'm telling them what's happening next because yeah. ultimately I don't want them to be embarrassed or yeah, make worried or shocked. They need to be comfortable on stage. Like yeah. otherwise people will tell. Like, and, and sometimes you do get a nervous girl, which is fine because it's endearing because by the end of that performance, a couple of minutes later, they're walking off beaming smile yeah, and they're you. comfortable <laughs> because they're up there basically partying with us. Yeah. And the question I have to ask is after all these years, the question I love to ask is do things still surprise you? Do you still th see things every day that you hadn't seen before? Yes, 100%. <laughs> um, well, I, well, just, just, well, two, two things in the past few months has blown my mind in my six years. <laughs> One is a lady came to watch the Dream Boys for a 101st birthday, um, and that was her dream. And then the nurses were like, we, what, what do you want for your birthday? She was like, I want to go and see the Dream 101. Yeah. And then the other day, there was a, a blind woman that came to watch and was sitting front row and came to it. And again, it was her wish to come and experience Do you do it. the show in Braille? This would be marvellous. No, no, no. But then, like, I mean, we must like, have created a bit of an atmosphere for us yeah, to experience yeah, it. Yeah, like, cause, yeah, because obviously we, 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 we was pre-warned and we was like, be careful because we can't, because, yeah, we, we play with our audience members. Like, do you know what I mean? Not to just surprise. Um, we, Didn't like, we that's steal amazing. a credit card? Didn't that's we steal a credit card? Oh my gosh, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, no, 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 no. We can say that. It's oh not, no, it's great. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's not a great this, situation. This, but this was in the Daily Mail. Yeah, this was in the Daily Mail. nurse stole a credit card from a patient and paid for dream boys oh, tickets bought 10 dream. tickets hotel the lot it's like and the you whole just night on, to risk yeah. like going in prison yeah. and you've bought like i mean i that's fantastic and the us, worst part of that whole story is that it came out in the paper and they used the picture <laughs> of me <laughs> to represent the dream boys i had nothing to do with your head of blood <laughs> yeah we had we had nothing, nothing to do, to do with, with fraud but, but i mean yeah, if you want to spend your money however or anyone else's money <laughs> i love the fun of this show i love the fact that you guys care so much and take it so seriously and just bring joy now more than ever people want fun guys thank you so much for your time thank you very You're more much. than welcome thank, thank you, you so much, much.